It's about addressing the complex web of factors that perpetuate violence, and it's about meeting people where they're at. 500 gunshot victims arrive at Cincinnati hospitals every year, but doctors and city leaders say now is the time to heal them with more than just bandages. The city announcing a new partnership where the goal is not to only stop violence, but also help people heal from the trauma itself. WCPO 9 News anchor Brent Bugansky live at City Hall tonight. Brett, the city really hopes it can be a solution, but not everyone is really sold on this. We heard words like first of its kind, collaboration, new community partners between the city, UC Medical Center and Children's Hospital. They feel like this could be the solution when it comes to this. And, and you heard from Assistant uh, City Manager Virginia Town who called it a complex problem. That's really the consensus when you talk to everybody about this. But when it comes to providing the solution, not everyone sold on this new program. If you don't get them before, they learn their survival tool, they road is to jail or death. Zandorcia Monfort is an advisor for Just Choice in Cincinnati, which is a nonprofit that started as an organization pushing for reproductive freedom, but just recently began mentoring teenagers. Listen to them. See what's going on. Understand what they're up against in their home, on their way to school. He admits he was in that survival mode who turned to drugs and served time before someone showed him there's another way. As a human being, I feel helpless. On Tuesday at City Hall, the city manager along with city council announced a new partnership with the hospitals for what they call a hospital-based violence intervention and prevention program. We as institutions have not done enough to address the long-lasting mental and psychological trauma that gun violence inflicts. They hope this new program in partnership with UC Med and Children's Hospital will help people address trauma. I mean, like, I think that's awesome. Antoine Hitton is a sophomore at Dater High School who lost both his father and brother to gun violence before he was in high school. How did you deal with that? Man, I just... Play basketball, like, why don't think about it? Like, keep me, just keep a smile on my face. And then in October 2022, he lost his AAU basketball coach, who was shot and killed in Avondale. Hearing about this new program gives him hope. But others, like Zandorcia, feels this new partnership is too reactive and not proactive enough. The mind is basically where we, the fight is at. That's where you win the fight at, in the mind. We have to transform their mind. Because if you don't transform their mind, you're going to get the same symptoms. It's like putting a Band-Aid over an affected wound. So on top of those two or three trauma specialists that they plan on hiring, the city also created a brand new position called a violence reduction manager. And they said starting on Monday, man from Philadelphia named D'Angelo Rosa Harris is going to be filling that position. Certainly, we're going to have a lot of questions for him in his new role with the city. Live outside City Hall tonight, Brett Pagansky, WCPO 9 News. And I know